Puerto Rico. Enjoy everything is ready. Here we go. Story. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet. With the help of Pikmin in this epic adventure, Lord Dandori Battle put your skills to work and manage the clock in this fierce com competition that can be enjoyed solo or with two players. Weapon him blue run run Hello Tyrant We gaming Grr. <laughs> 
Let's see. I'm still <laughs> got a few things I need to check out. Oh yeah, I've already done the PC uh, face. Swap over to the game. Before I look at all that, I'm just gonna get into it. So, I haven't played the demo yet. I've only played... Well, this is, this is the first time I've picked up Pikmin 4. <laughs> so no demo. Yet. Or ever. <laughs> we'll have to see. He be within a bell. Captain Olima. Captain Olima. Jiro, Nuru, the Dorupin. I am old. It's Pikmin 4. It's Pikmin 4. They believe. Ah. Imaraso, Dormas, Soson, them. Those daily. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. Elvrin. No way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Ah, <gasps> Is this the story of Pikmin 1? Pukna. Orima. Yeah. Had an innate, innate desire or will to carry objects. I'm past and I met yet another mysterious creature. What? Appeared to be malnourished. Tossed over a tree. Hey, <laughs> yo, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Hmm. Does this take place at a different time? Did Olimar crash again? But get the, did Olimar somehow get the SS Dolphin back and crash land on the same place again? This area is different from the others we've explored so far. Where you ran off to? That is a lot of Pikmin. What the hell? scurry off like that. Suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. <laughs> oh my god, you get to play as Olimar and the Lakshi Tudor. Olimar moment. You play as him looks like, yeah. 
So how do I use the motion controls to aim? The onion's acting strange. <laughs> They could be hiding behind those things, let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. Just need to press X and hold down, and then take aim. Then she's at full strength. I'll let go and let her rush. Why aren't the motion controls active permanently? Hmm. Record in lock or record later. Never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now how to freeze it? If you think that's save mission, it might be. Strange Pikmin behavior. Number 76. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. Can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Need to find my missing ship parts, but it'll be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Beta whistle's a little odd. Then what's Freight Trigger? Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Don't look before you leap. Distance isn't very far. <laughs> mm. I'm missing a singular Pikumin. The camera's awfully close to Alamar, to be fair. to reply on my <laughs> pup's powerful nose, track down one of those shit parts. Oh, oh. 
to stay on that scent. Okie dokie then. So uh, we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. That's it's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Oh, does this uh, tie into how <laughs> the main crew that you play as are uh, uh, the rescue team that were following? The what's it called? <laughs> A distress signal, probably from Aldemar. Ideally sent out an SOS signal. Do you already get to customize your character? No, not yet. I haven't got to do anything yet. This is literally the first thing in the game. <laughs> Noble plans to bring me home safe. Fortunately, fate had other ideas. <gasps> they crash landed during their arrival. Double shipwrecks are rare and, uh, and extremely unlucky. This might point, you might think that was all that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ, a rookie. You. That's right, you are my last hope. Rescue the rescue corpse! <laughs> Follow emergency, following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the ship and immediately... Uh, immediately, finding dispersed rescue corpse is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. <laughs> Yo? Yup. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. This is the all of my option. Bunch of preset faces. This is so sad. Mm. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what to think about the uh <laughs> the what's it called? Alamo Louis, you think Charlie and <laughs> Bethany are the choices Alpha's these same body size as Olimar, you think? Yeah, I'll, I'm pretty sure Alpha's the same as Olimar. Alf, Olimar, Louis, Brittany, and Charlie. <laughs> Sheeps. Damn, little, little good that you have to use like these presets. Can't exactly pick between. What if I want the massive nose and the big massive eyebrows? Yo? Dude, you could be a veggie. Vegeta. Vegeta. You staring at me? Wow, Hamilton. <laughs> microwave. The mouth get microwaved. <laughs> I can't believe you did this. Yo, yo, the ham, the Hamilton, the bacon. <laughs> How it do? <laughs> Get back going to eat your now food. <laughs> no, this is so bad. Home planet carrot. Oh snap! You use familiar with the Pikmin game. The picker for minute. of the rescue comes. Just in the hands of one inexperienced adventure. <laughs> Damn, that's a surprise. Your ship doesn't get blown to bits like every single ship that first arrives at the planet. <laughs> Corpse just pronounced core. Don't ask you why you don't know. Core, you want me to... Okay, core. Corpse. Corporation. Search for the mis missing rescue corpse. What the fuck is that? Pickleman. Hey, yo, what the dog do? What the dog do? <laughs> Eyes look so weird on it. What the fuck? This young loyal pup is one of the elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. <laughs> Friend, you encountered the rescue corp. Cause corpse, cor corpse. They're all dead. Rescue, <laughs> rescue pup Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. I think he's a puppy compared to Olimar's dog. Yeah, it's tiny. And how is it breathing in space? Or on a planet with oxygen, which is known to be poisonous to these lacritudas. These people. <laughs> Dang. 
They got strong. They got strong. The fucking strong. <laughs> oh, the disc. You. Damn, he's hench. Jaws, big old clampers. That you, Ochi? New pop. Thank the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? Are? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Kanyuko. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin. Communications operator of the rescue call. From home planet Gaia. There's different planets now other than Hokate and Kopai? What the fuck? As the rescue call <laughs> comes up here, he handles communication for his fellow officers, plus he's handy with a wrench. <laughs> of Colin, the rescue corps comes up here. That's one down, now where could the other rescue officers be? Hale. I've got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Russell, isn't it? Mira? I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal, the rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. <laughs> oh no! Yeah oh yes. I've spent days sleeping out here, in the roof. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. Came here to find Captain Olimar. His own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. Mohei. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back. Oh, in case you missed dialogue, message log. Hello? And if we're lucky, We'll come across a few sh stranded rescuers along the way. Before I forget, take this. It's an office official rescue core tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up on the D-pad. Uh, on the left side, there to open and review your missions. Mission 2001. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll inst <laughs> install uh, them later when we have a moment to rest. You get back in the MF. <laughs> it's handing you an iPad 7. <laughs> yeah? Question mark? Now you can always tap up to view missions, but if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. <laughs> iPad for 2069. <laughs> yo. <gasps> Pebbles really, yo. How are we doing? We get a good look at some of the people's <laughs> bold yum question mark, bold yum exclamation mark. <laughs> also kind of weird how Automark must flag that message, but you said way worse in chat in in this chat or in other people's chats. Because Automod is different for people's chats.
<laughs> Rescue call, Olimar. <laughs> Your chat. Maybe? History and stents. Playtime 25. What do you do upon London? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we know where we need to go. Helen, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Get it? SS Shepherd? Because we have to round up all these buffoons. <laughs> it's interesting that I was thinking earlier, hmm, he's, his suit is the exact same colour as mine. Is that going to be the same for everyone else? You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead, let's go. Hmm. So it's tonight in ASMR stream. Maybe. It is late, to be fair. Look, that's it. That's a big hole on the ground over there. Yo, they brought caves back? Find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. There's something under that dirt. This is the perfect job for a rescue pup, they're known for being it. Excellent diggers. Good Bobochi, you're making easy work. Hello? <laughs> it's death. Yum. Hey, hey. So long. Munch, munch. I eat dirt. Bah. <laughs> Oi. Dirt, good for you. Hey. Wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. Looks pretty deep, but we're just going to have to dive right in. <laughs> For real? That's the spirit. Here we go. Oh, it does look pretty dark down there. Oh no. <laughs> They're good for you. Lots of minerals. Yum. Yum yum. Whoa. They're too small. Too small to reach critical velocity. Full damage non existent. <laughs> true, true. Trying to tell someone. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Yeah, too small for terminal velocity. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, every single character in the Pikmin series has been known to uh, survive <laughs> falling from the atmosphere of this planet. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my, what a place to find the captain. <laughs> that terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Russell. The captain comes from a long line of... <laughs> There's no time for history, listen, hurry up and do something. Thank goodness you can still one-shot those things. I sure hope there isn't an Empress Bullblex <laughs> later on in the game. <laughs> I 
gonna duck eat those babies. <laughs> what the fuck? I hope so, my arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on for so long, okay? I could do this. <laughs> Wait a bop 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 tattoos, please. <laughs> Pitbulls when they sight a, <laughs> a child. Demolish. Dinner time. Oh, you, I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps. If you don't remember, no. do you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Russell? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that Ricky training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. <laughs> the 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. <laughs> furry colleagues, smile. Captain Shepard. The captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? Huh? Everyone knows that Carlin is a very <laughs> good amusement. <amazing. laughs> it's technology. <laughs> oh snap. Probably, probably. Or explore the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. <laughs> Works of technology must be a fairy. True. Wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up to those icky slimy creatures. Oh! And gone, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Dolphin? F SS Shepherd. I want to say SS Dolphin so badly. We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Amen. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? I thought Shepard was a commander. <laughs> I... Maybe? Come on. Didn't say anything. Copy that is the rescue call's way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? <laughs> Copy that, <laughs> understood. Us. I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission after all. It'll all come naturally to you soon enough, don't worry. Said you'll need to review the Rescue Corps' Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential for our work. Russell. This is where you'll find advice left by captains, both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge of and wisdom they share will guide you well. Emma Shepherd, Captain in Command. Neat. <laughs> there's, there's, two, there's icons next to these? Law? Oh shit, they have first names? Oh shit, you're right. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. That looks like a destructible wall. wall you dropped in. Uh, yeah, in, in the book thingy. Let me see. How do I... Tablet menu. Yeah, 
Yeah, Irma Shepherd, uh, captain in command. At the bottom. This one says Irma Shepherd. The next one says uh, Nilman. Nilman Shepherd, fifth captain. Can't quite see it. Is she the only one? I don't know. <laughs> Rune really has to change his soap. <laughs> yeah. See? Morgan Shepherd, 38th captain. So, um, is it um, a Shepherd? That's the current one. And they're like the 59th captain? Correct? God damn. Does this mean to say there's like a <laughs> hundred of these? Home planet Gaia. Home planet Karut. They fuck a lot, don't they? Maybe, maybe. Small thing. I remember this area? Go no. command the shepherd, and this is my favorite shepherd on the shepherd. <laughs> to think he survived the fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? I wonder if time stops while you're underground <laughs> in this game. Probably, probably does. You like how he went? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Russell. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. <laughs> you Turn what? Away. I completely agree. Though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that <laughs> cave. Ooh. Right, Captain, the rescue corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway and no other individuals were found during our research. Our search. No it. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave completely. I hope this experience will help you prepare your for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. Yeah, okay. But both you both did well. Work did good work today. Well done, Rasan Ochi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. <laughs> we had to rescue the captain themselves. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Oh, did, did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course, and good for you. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Hooray. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. This is taking ages, there's too much dialogue. <laughs> oh, pellet. Destroy. Smoke 
back out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. <laughs> what does that mean? Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no. Will it be okay? It will. I initiated the emer an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. Aww. So no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Can you go? Sorry about that. Necessarily, I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Take a look at this. <clears throat> After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real-life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Is that like log 31 or... F yeah, okay, that must be 31. <laughs> No first name for Alamar? Wow. True. Maybe the first names only appear in certain uh, menus. We should be able to extract sparkling from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the shepherd, uh, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have to a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Whoop. Oh, hey. 300. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we use the SS Beagle. <laughs> the SS Beagle. Kaupchi. We just need a good place for it to land. Jido? What's that over there? This must be the spot for the ship to land, and an what? onion. Mysterious, mysterious. Landmark, but I'm not completely sure. Looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. And you can call your ship over to these locations? Question mark. Let's find that treasure. Treasure, just look at the way it sparkles. Right for key to open the map, the radar. Fog. Yum. Excellent work. But, um, how are you going to move it? With the doggy. <laughs> Excellent, it's on the move. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? Hey. The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. 
Ah, they have an in <laughs> an in low reason to as perch. <laughs> as to why objects can be. <laughs> Miniaturize that. You will kill the dirt. Yum. I know you will kill a lot of different things, em <laughs> Emerald. Yum. Wow, sis, what is that? Can any of take a guess at what that might be? <laughs> the O, <laughs> the own yon. And don't do it, you'll unleash a horrible parasite that will obliterate the planet. <laughs> Yo, what jokes, sir? If you're the parasite, don't care, I'm hot as fuck. <laughs> Whoa, it's true. Looks like a plinth. Could this be the thing that Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? Called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? That. What the fuck? No. Picked men. Couldn't Captain Alamar's voyage look? They're friendly and helpful creatures. No. Well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Damn, she's petrified for a captain. Oh, she's already bonding with the pigment. You should introduce yourself as well, Russ. <laughs> oh, she looks petrified. <laughs> and, uh, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? <laughs> you know what, this, what you, they say? You should pick men as you. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, truly. They just sent them to help me pick pick the picker men. Help me. Yeah, 
Yo, is that a treasure? What is that? Can you grab one and not let go? Yeah, question mark. <laughs> At least two minutes. I believe there's <laughs> gonna be good descriptions of the treasures. Especially if uh, it's something like Pikmin 2 and maybe 3 Deluxe. That time, of course, this isn't quite right, the right occasion. Well, I copy that, but good effort. <laughs> there also was a literal Game Boy that was blown up in the Gulf War, you think, and still works? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they did kind of have to put something together in order for it to take batteries again and run. You forgot to charge yours again, didn't you? <laughs> the, the, the switch. Mine's like always charged because it never leaves the fucking dock. <laughs> the pigmen are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Can you go? Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. How I reply when you hover over a message that's a little arrow. Click to reply. <laughs> Or there's a fret button. <laughs> Shut up. Tyrant, I believe Murph did kind of reply to you. There isn't really a way to reply to reply to messages. Except for the fact that Murph's message comes underneath yours <laughs> in the thread. Energy from <laughs> the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition. Oh, 
I like how it's got the uh, end of day theme. Kind of theme going on there. The S is Shepard using Sparkleum. Hi. Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition. <laughs> Game Boy Advanced Blue Edition. Now I sure hope it's a Game Boy Advance SP Tribal Tattoo Edition in this game. Oh, multiple SOS signals? My hot take is that there's a <laughs> level in this game. I don't think there is, there never has been <laughs> such a type of level in any of the Pikmin games, but I don't know, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Maybe there is. Exactly, it's never been in one, so it'd be different. <laughs> Pikmin always has. <laughs> Have you seen bull boobs? True. I mean, it, it's true, it always has, but. It hasn't had, um. What's it called? It hasn't had a level. Hold up, I just realized I haven't had something running. Give it a second and then you do your things again. <laughs> huh? That's interesting, the ship is automatically naming the objects. Alright, there you go. You can use your uh, funnies. <laughs> Big hair mode and s <laughs> small hair mode and big horn mode. Stone of advancement. True, true. There you go. <laughs> I think you both did it a little too soon. There you go. Have your points back, Myth. Much better. <laughs> we encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Beautiful creature. <laughs> Hi. Oh, red. Backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> All right. Mom. <laughs> microwave. Right. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make some repairs. I'd been roughing it for long enough. There's something to be said for finally having a proper prepared and properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. No. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest. Rest, Russell. But, be, but don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Damn, 1500. 1500. Gather more sparklium. Oh, hey. oh, I see you used a pin. So then, I guess I don't need to tell you that it's as easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin it and unpin Annie. it. I can mend your instincts pinning a mission. <laughs> like a fucking tutorial was necessary, yet a fucking tutorial comes up when I use the function. Okay.
<laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Why no anvil? Why no anvil? It would be funny. What do you mean no anvil? There's an anvil in the drop something? <laughs> One? Safety first, just to safes. Call the strategy meeting to order. Is the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Russell. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. Hello. And the moment? Yeah. <laughs> All things considered, our primary mission, the, re the rescue of our Captain Alma, has run into some roadblocks. Um. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Brasil, Ochi, fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress sig <laughs> signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide directions and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepherds for wireless communication at all times, so you'll have f our full support. Oh. I wouldn't typically assign you so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. And plus that she's petrified of interacting with any of the creatures and the Pikmin. Plus you'll be in good pause with Ochi. By your side, you two make a great team. <laughs> what about a search for Captain Lamar? We sh should we officially put it on pause? Pardon? No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. <laughs> Let's chat. Bold, 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 bold. Panic as I, I was in a panic as I tried to escape the spaceship. If that signal didn't work, I should have to even think about it. Oh, yo, never bold. Thank you. <laughs> Rescue command post, a hundred percent. Pellet posies. The seed-like thing I harvested f from the f that flower must be some kind of food that propagates more pigment. We'll call them these condensed nutrients pellets and the plant a pellet posy. Nutrients pellets, the plant a po pellet posy. I feel like these are... Those three might be ripped, <laughs> might be copied from the previous Pikmin games. Oh, there's Olimar's one. SOS, SOS, please handle me with care. Oh, 
it's a way, 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 self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. What the fuck? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Shortcuts. Wait, I, I should have read that. Fuck. These loading screens take forever. Alright, gamers, we're gonna start speedrunning. We're ready to speedrun. Of course, there's more onions. You only have one color, you purple buffoon. <laughs> Yeah, but it makes it suggest that there's more than the normal three colours. <laughs> or even more than that. Come in, come in, this is Colin. And there are... But what if there's like 20 of them? God, my fucking damn. <laughs> Did you not see the trailer? I seen the trailer. There were five, there were five onions and they got fucking smashed into one in Pikmin 3. Alright, alright. <laughs> Don't you... me. <laughs> Search for missing rescue officers. <laughs> Copy that. I'm on the job. <laughs> I do remember that you're supposed to respond to copy that. Anyway, get out of there and <laughs> make us back. <laughs> According to the voyage log, the onion also says the form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Yeah. No, oh, you can use the left and the right stick to to select the pigment. Oh, Y plus left stick does ten. What the fuck? Brown, brown, brown. Oh, 
That's a pretty rock, isn't it? Doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check out Captain Alma's log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized bio biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. Should be able to. F I should be able to find many applications for it. I'm a fit-handed with. I'm a fit hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. Had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make a good use of this. Collect it for now, he'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. What did Ochi just do? What the fuck? <laughs> Let's see. You have the <laughs> you have the game all the makeover akin to view from Street Fighter 6. <laughs> Give him a beard and no shit and rough <laughs> Give him a beard, no shit, and rough them up. No shit. Tell him to remove his space suit at that point, what the fuck? <laughs> no ball. Buff all them out, yo. <laughs> they nerfed him like they did Ryu in Street Fighter 6. <laughs> I mean, we got a good look at all them out at the very start of the, uh, the stream though. the word Dandori before Pikmin 4 was announced. I feel like it was like a Japanese word for, um, what's it called? Whatever these captains do with Pikmin, the way they command them. <laughs> I think that was the name they gave it, Dandori. <laughs> I will eat you. Yo? Wow, man. Looky, looky tyrant. On the pole. Practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years. Recently, the art of Dandori is essential to our work. You'll need it. Out there while searching for a rescue call. Crew. <gasps> e Hug. When you hit stuck, ask Oshi to find things for you by selecting pick up a scent.
Look, there's a cave here too. A serious crawling of creatures, our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Oh, hey! No, as you're looking at the radar map just now, why don't I tell you about a little handy function it has? <sighs> the system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with two arrows. That's a nice feature. What's a nice feature? Don't <laughs> just eat the anvil, you're right. Fuck. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? You have two vape? No, what the fuck? No? <laughs> I know. Yo. <laughs> you should. Yo. Oh. <gasps> was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put put it to good use if it was finished. Another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the, the most opportune times. Locations, how interesting. Maybe Captain Aldemar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now, I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dundori master would tell you it's the most efficient way for it. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Fight! That's gonna take far too long. Cobble kebab for the kebab with kaboof wearing the kubip <laughs> and then co, co building a magic kabottle for the kabotions. <laughs> Fight it anyway. We can wait. I can't. Hello, hello. Oh, 
Who <laughs> loves this enemy? The flowchart. <laughs> <Hello? laughs> Bizarre, isn't it? Bizarre, they were bold enough to make an open with Pikmin game. Can I heal up? At the ship? I cannot. I'm surprised I didn't deal so much damage. Eye on the, the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they, they can easily escape to your line of sight. Are they bold enough? Wait, what? <laughs> Damn, this person's already got 40 Pikmin. Oh yeah, I lost one. Okay. The Pikmin ready the ready the sacrifice the sacrificial bull bulb. <laughs> Woo! 
surprised you didn't send bonus Pikmin onto the um, things. Pikmin just automatically sit there. Instead of help out. Ochi, look at him. <laughs> no. Work for me. <laughs> Eat one of those raw <laughs> minerals or what? Yeah. Oh, she will carry the raw minerals. <laughs> Please do not kill the dog. Okay. If you insist. Rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Hi, Chief. According to the Captain Almar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they are back, if as long as they make it back to this area around the base. Seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Last Frost Cavern. 
I entered a cave to look for SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimated to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Beedum. Take a look at this. That Captain Omar said he certainly is Faro, isn't he? According to the log, any time you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. New bar. SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the, fa the base first. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out there, out here, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. Neat. Onion stain on the surface because because it can. can. You only have twenty at once. Yeah, it seems so at the moment. Only twenty at most. Marvel. Such, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it's interesting progression. I guess, because you don't straight up get a hundred right off the bat. <laughs> Another missing rescue officers. Time to get them back safely. That's not treasure. Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help even if only a little. Just like Pikmin 2, even though if they're not a lot of ponies, they're definitely worth something. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower! What's going on here? That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> they called. <laughs> Did the voice actor really just say Bab <laughs> Baba G? <laughs> Are these Pikmin 2? Let's see, the footage log says. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. <laughs> the Cyan Pikmin. Yo, is this where, we, where the Cyan Onion came from in the, in the good ending of the first Pikmin game? Who knew that someone frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Are? Huh. That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Ah oh boy. Ah oh yeah. Damn. 
they have yellow? Yellow flowers? No, you don't. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. Yo, I agree. I wish there was a yep comment. solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order t <laughs> to the Pikmin or Ochi. That's what I was gonna fucking do. Hydro Jelly Burst. This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can s compare it with the other onion. the vitals, pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like the life support system did its job. Hello. We should transport them back to the SSW Beagle and verify their ID badge. <laughs> yeah, if you mash the throw button, the game like stops you midway through. Well, it stops you from spamming, so you don't uh, throw more than what is necessary to move it. So you have to wait a moment if you want to throw more to carry... <laughs> have more pigment carry the object than necessary. This is... Russ. An inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science, he can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the raw material... with the right, mater right raw materials. Oh, thank the stars he's alright, this is Russ. The scientist in charge of the repair. Wait, <laughs> the name's Russ. <laughs> His techni technical knowledge it will be beyond helpful during the rescue mission. Meat. Yum. <laughs> so, so. Only one known Russ. Dun dun dun! Are you all done down there? Yes! I wonder where those uh, ice pigmen are gonna go. Sub-level details. One onion. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ozus. 
<laughs> Pikmin 4, four. it's out. <laughs> You're about to go to bed. Why? <laughs> you want to watch? <laughs> I don't worry, I was thinking about going to bed and I was like, you know what? I literally just in downloaded Pikmin. Let's see if it's now available to play this instant. <laughs> yeah. You need to get up to do a podcast in the morning. Yikes. <laughs> My condolences. It's like three in the morning, it's so you need to do a podcast in the morning. Yikes. <laughs> what are you do doing still up then? It's 11 a Oh, you're away, aren't you? Wait, no. Wait. What? Oh, at 11. Oh, no, I have brain rot. Podcast at 11 a.m. I was like, it's 11 a.m. where you currently are? What the fuck? How did I, how did I get, get to that point? Damn. You should probably be sleeping then. That's like a whole eight hours away. And you could do with a good eight hours. Because <laughs> you're stressed that peeps ain't gonna wake up to pick up the stream marathon. Oh. Oops. So you're just, just, just staying up so you hope you uh, fill in just in case. Oh. Ouch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Calculate the difference. It looks as if about one sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Oh, so instead of infinite time underground, it's significantly less time underground. Right, you're going on my TV. <laughs> fair, fair. Time seems to be t seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. Honey. Not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you could take as much time as you need to explore caves. OG fucking staring at you. I know fucking OG's look is so unsettling. Vicious creature. Onion just do. What the fuck? It's like Pikmin's two. It's like Pikmin's two. Oh, oh, this must be a larger squad size. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called Flarlic. We bring Flarlic to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases onto the surface at any time by 10. Yo. Ah. So it's not an onion. I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just a discolored onion, so you can't, um. You don't know what, uh. <laughs> colored Pikmin type you will begin, uh, when you discover it. But the more you know. Yo, Pebbles doing a leg, much appreciated. Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. I mean, <laughs> I already have 30 on me. Is the onion gonna be? Does you want to tell how to break the game? It's a very funny, uh, sure? Question mark? <laughs> the onion produced different Pikmin. So onion color determines Pikmin type. 
What? <laughs> but I haven't got the ice onion yet. Are those ice Pikmin gonna turn the onion into an ice and red onion? A red Pikmin onion? Maybe discovering new Pikmin is how you get new pic <laughs> new Pikmin onions? If you activate player 2, you can damage structures with the pebble throw. Structures? Oh, like the, um, the electric gate. It allows you to break electric gates without having to <laughs> have the electric Pikmin, what the fuck? Hmm, <laughs> sounds like a speedrunner, speedrun tactic. I was, I was looking at the uh, electric gate and I was thinking if the top part of the bar is broken, which how it looks like, um, could you just put Pikmin on top of it while it breaks it? Well, that's interesting too. <laughs> Unlock electric areas without yellow Pikmin. Picks. Also doesn't draw aggro on enemies. You don't get aggro it while the second player is just pelting the shit out of them with, <laughs> with pellets, pebbles. Damn. Also, yo, this is a banger. They brought this tune back. No doubts here. Emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would have would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. <laughs> you could just spam the stone. <laughs> you could spam the stone a bull bulb to death and it won't react. <laughs> stone the bull bulb to death. Bam. <laughs> that's that's funny. <laughs> would have expected emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this before we found you? Oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I already completed a very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material, indeed. Huh? To put it simply, the more of this material you collect, the more inventions I can whip up to aid you in your search. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printers. So you, so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to work to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ! I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go more, even more smoothly than usual. Now that you're here... Lurk time. I agree. Man, this is interesting. Wait, is Ochi bigger? What the fuck? Wait, is it me or did Ochi grow f go through a s growth spell overnight? <laughs> Ochi grow grow 
It's actually quite difficult for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Honey. The Pikmin Chow are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his own. Oi. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Us. Right. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his hoop drive while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. <laughs> From the looks of it, Ochi's ready as ever to fill up that pulp drive. The color of rescue troop and ship is different based on the color you pick in the Korea. Yours, yours be orange. Yeah, I... <laughs> I, I think I realized that starting off, I was like, I could have sworn the, the um, Colin had a different space suit color in the trailers. And it's like, oh, but it's, the, it's identical to what I chose him. <laughs> and then evidently the ship was also the same color. <laughs> Copy that. And I'll call this strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. It would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because of they're all they're done. You find the strength buffs are dope on the doggin on the dog early on. Oh oh. I've I my I I have to see this for myself. Uh, the ability to transfer any raw material collected in the field into all-purpose clay helps counteract having so few Pikmin. Ooh, that is a good that is a good thought. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing, bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. Oh snap. I have no doubt you'll be use they'll be useful to you while out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure but now now but raw material too. And don't forget about our miss missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them Russell and Ochi. <laughs> we got Russ and Russell. <laughs> By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. Right. Hey, if I call this strategy meeting to a close. Right. Oh. <laughs> as soon as you two are ready, let's get your training started. I'd like to train. Learn all Ochi's skills. Five. Something. This rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. Hi. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach. You two want to take. Go the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go the jump path if you want, if taking on creatures is your priority. Oh, I... Keep proper Dendori practices in mind and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. What the fuck? What the fuck? Healing power? Damn! Oh, she can heal. You can tell Ochi to go places. 
never read. Mia. <laughs> Hmm, oh gee, to gather pigment for you. Shrimp clan command is what you recommend. Shortens the energy charging time a little. It's easier for Ochi to streak critters that are moving around. Ochi's leg strength increases, giving him a more powerful impact that can defeat more creatures in a single attack. Sharpening your rescue pups attack skill. The jump journey is a long one, but worth it. This chomp is many times stronger than the original, for example, it can take down a pellet posy in a single bite. Strength to level 3 is really easy because it'd be 1 point per level. And command is useful for multitasking. Mia. Yeah. I was actually thinking between buff and command, to be fair. <laughs> command. Chomp, maybe later. If I'm Pikmin, are just better at combat than Uchi. Pikmin are just better at combat than the dude, true. But everything you had into that training, what a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now you have a special treat for you. Scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. Hmm. Dog is good for busy work. Mia. Yeah. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Hello, hello. Also taught. Yo, what's up? What's up? You know the message notification from Free You. Um, I don't think so. The, the sound effect. The one that you use for your <laughs> mobile notifications. It is now your phone notification sound. Oh wait, you changed it. To a different one, yo. <laughs> <laughs> How many people did you trigger with your phone notification sound <laughs> effect? You you used to use the item gathering. Oh yeah, that's true. But then the, the message notification for free you from free you. Oh, the one in um the multiplayer hub one, when someone puts a message in the in-game chat. I forget the sound exactly. <laughs> Yo, that's actually pretty, <laughs> pretty funny to be fair. <laughs> pretty good. And the DM sound when you send someone a special mail thing in game is for your emails. Oh, special mail thing. I, I think I recall what. That is, but I don't. I don't think I remember ever hearing that sound. <laughs> well, at least I don't remember what it sounded like. Just a bloop. Oh, 
but takes you. <laughs> Takes you back. Scrummy bone. Oh, it heals and temporarily temporarily increases HP. Life saving item will protect you from getting knocked out, plus it detects your low HP and automatically heals you. Takes you back, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Press X, this horn will order selected Pikmin to charge. Press repeatedly to charge the entire squad. Ah, they brought back the, st the stinky charge thing from uh, Pikmin 3. So when are they going to bring back Swarm? When can I use the Swarm ability from uh, Pikmin 1 and 2? And I think it was also in 3, but I forget. I forget if it was in Pikmin 3. Oh! <laughs> I forget it <laughs> if it was in Pikmin 3 because uh, all you've had to use was the charge. What's this? It's a creature. Swarm in the demo. I mean, I haven't got it either, and I'm a little good that I haven't got access to it yet. I don't think free had swarm. Also, what's up with the motion controls? Why do the motion controls only take effect when you um? Hold down the whistle. Or hold down A. Why isn't it permanently active? I want motion controls. Also, I've been dying to be right back. For a quick moment. Don't know if it's in this game, to be honest. Yeah, might have to find... F find out. For, for gaming. Yo, can you believe it? More planets? Gaia, Karut, Kopai, Hokate. Goddamn. This is kind of sucky. Does that happen even when playing with Joy-Cons? I'm not sure. I've only used my Pro Controller. The, um... It only being active when you hold down the buttons. I don't know. I don't know. When you find the most effective item for the situation, open your pack with Y plus left stick and assess your choices. Huh. And you can move the base. I don't know how far up to the, uh, the demo was because I never played it, but is this just about as far into the game as the, uh, demo? Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I need to bear back a moment real quick. Give me a second.
Yes. All right, let's see. Then we'll let you go as far as you wanted, but you couldn't collect more than 1,500 bright stuff. Ah. So you could completely mess around in that uh, first zone. But you couldn't traverse to the next. Hello? Just so relieved that I got my SOS signal time. I thought we'd already seen that. How do I skip? I find it interesting that the, uh, the ice pigmen are stored in the red onion. <laughs> Normally all of them put them in the cargo holds. Might just get pretty far in the first area, yeah. Oh. And I'm guessing you weren't normally meant to get past the electric gate in the demo, but because of two-player magic, <laughs> you could break it down anyway. <laughs> Tomorrow. You can only duplicate pigments if you have the on the color onion. Yeah, I've, I just noticed that. Because I sent an ice pigment to gather something. And put it in the onion, and the ice count hasn't gone up. Drill him on his jump skill. Damn. That's how you get to the elevated ledges now. Damn, Ochi just put all those Pikmin in that bull bub's eyes. Yum. Is there a select all Pikmin button? I mean, there is auto button, I guess. You could do it, but the you could do it legit, but spoilers. It's spoilers. Damn. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. Process the raw material into clay. And use it as building material to finish the structure. Go as you please go ahead across it. Admire the impressive craft craftsmanship. I already forgot what the jump button is. <laughs> what 
does he mean? What do you mean by this tyrant? This is taking the piss. Hectic hollows. Someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. I'll have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way or place to meet her. I know, right? What's up with the uh, the Lectitura that Olimar has? It looks like a, a Boltman. Looks like it's got a parasitic Pikmin in it. In its backside. Best of all, the business is to decrease the defense budget by 2% to construct the colossal obsidian orb. <laughs> will supply the US with great economic benefits, be visible from the entirety of the of Northern California and emit an ominous hum. <laughs> Fair? I think you need to knock the ball down. One no? I think you're right. Mysterious, I forgot about that. <laughs> Considering I realized you could do something like that with the, um, the clock, the clock alien. It's about to melt the more you know. Oh, did the puppy get bigger? They grow up so fast. <laughs> the doge got bit, bitcher, bigger. <laughs> what about the pigment like freezing plates? Like an idle Pikmin? What the fuck? You get more reach with the whistle with motion controls. Oh, I remember to use the horn. I forgot that the horn exists. See, like, imagine calling for reinforcements and BTS shows up. <laughs> Red. 
secret nectar, I wonder. Ultra spicy spray. You like dismiss switch horn and spoiler. Well we found it, yeah. Ultra spicy spray. <laughs> hey. You like to have sprays on quick actions. Yeah, the sprays are very handy. <laughs> Yum. Said you didn't suck it up like all of our true. And you just pick it up with your fucking hands and bring it back. That is an interesting sound. If you double tap horn, you can send the whole squad or single tap for just the selected type. Just that would be good improvement. What, is that what you can do, or... Is that what they could improve it by? Red, it's honey. You can do your arm. Oh, the ice pigment can freeze them by being demolished. and verify the ID of Schnuz from Sigure. <laughs> yeah, it took you a while to remember you can <laughs> knock stuff. <laughs> yeah. An acclaimed 
treasure appraiser who traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop the, a leading appraisal AI. Ah. Oh. Best NPC name, Schna Schnoz Sch Schnozza. Schnauz. The treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Mm, Schnauz. <laughs> Remember the voyage log that arrived with Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Aww. They ended up like Captain Olimar, too shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch, anyway. Damn. I'd like to think this priest is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them. Chances are they're in danger. Best known for inventing the, schn the schnozzle. <laughs> yes, I do practice the craft to make some mac and cheese. And if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar, the Rescue Corp core, there are also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue any that you come across. God damn. <laughs> oh, she do beat. Spin. Spin, spin, spin. I realize I don't think I waited for the treasure to be delivered. I'm fuming. What's the problem? The pigment won't follow you onto the surface. Yeah, there are limits to how many and what of how many and what types of pigment you can have out on the surface at one any one time. But don't worry, the rest when you, about the rest when you choose a pig which pigment you take. Any remaining pigment will go back to the onion with the SS Beagle. This man has zero chillin just left. <laughs> True. Yo, they get stored in the onion? You can go straight back in. What a relief. <laughs> oh, wow. What is that? I wonder if there's a way to increase Ochi's movement speed. <laughs> That's what I was thinking for a, long, for a good while playing this. <laughs> That's a weird looking chess piece.
Uh, yep. Complete. Mission complete. Damn. You know that these loading screens take forever. <laughs> I can't seem to, I can't freeze the um lake because I don't have a uh, thirty ice Pikmin. But there's also a problem. The ice disappears after <laughs> if I remove one of the thirty. Civilian castaways, acclaimed treasure appraiser who's travelled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Already seen that. After closely observing the pigment carrying their prey to the onion, I saw that the next seeds the onion dropped were the same type as the majority of the pigment. That did the transporting. How fascinating that in a pigment ecology employs a concept like majority rule. She's a little slow. I was expecting that to be the whistle button, to be fair. Considering how... Well, I... The B button was also the whistle button on <laughs> Wii Remote and Nunchuck. But, uh... Oh, whoa. Isn't it supposed to happen? Oh, she's all the way over there. Captain, what's the protocol for a situation like this? You and Ochi need to find a rendezvous point. Switch to Uchi. Come on. No. Uchi. Ah, okay. <laughs> You're forced to get stuck. And then have to figure out things on your own.
<laughs> you can knock the pigment off of it. Father. Someone really ought to help him out. This is how you get past the electrical fence. Fun war history. <laughs> what? Between the Canadians and Germans, the Canadians had an army of two and the Germans had 1500 and the Canadians won. I see? Fly high and are good at digging. Whoa. This is true. Resistant to electricity, what in the world are they made of? <laughs> She just jumped down like that. <laughs> yeah. There's so many pigments. You're just going for your old saved pics from Twitter, that's why you're spouting enough nonsense. Ah, I see. Fair enough. <laughs> uh oh, the pigmen having trouble. I can tell.
da 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 Send it over. You have to go do chores. It's actually pretty helpful because you can send them back to go collect pick to collect Pikmin too. <laughs> So true, so true, but beastie. Wahoo! <laughs> Did a great job, Ochi and Russell. With all the energy you've collected, we can continue our restoration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Oh, yeah. And then I think that means we can move on to the next, another location. Smile. Yeah, pebbles. stored in that vase, can you believe it? Most of the Pikmin games. Ah, Kingsley, Oi from Home Planet Oichi. 
Damn, they really do be doing the world building. They're making so many worlds for all these random people. Took his obsession with flowers to a new level when he traveled alone to this remote planet simply to see its unusual blossoms. Oh, wow. Nope, this is another civilian castaway, a florist, out here on his own, but why? Well, that's just ill-advised. It's up to you to rescue any castaways you find, Russell and Ochi. So it is, so it is. Oh, that's where the missing Pikmin is. I got everything here. Let's fucking go. Also, I thought Ochi's pup drive was like an XP gauge that you earn by, um, you know, just using Ochi, but. It seems like it's literally just collect castaways and you earn a point. Meow. So... <laughs> so, meow. <laughs> no comment. You keep seeing math problems trend on Twitter he here. What? Ah, <laughs> thank you. Mm. It's a little bit of a hassle disbanding. Like, carry the one and add. The second one you do know is it's politics really you, what the fuck? <laughs> Russell arrived at destination. We can take out ten more Pikmin. 
You know, we're probably going to bed soon. Fair enough. That is okay. Ochi is just a funny looking bread book. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Great adventure series complete. Yay. insists I go with so many reds and so many yellows, so I will oblige. Oblige. If you leave a cave before you're done exploring, you can always go back. Disassembled. Thank <laughs> you. 
that switching allows you to <laughs> get Ochi out of your party. Have them do his own thing. Onions are flawless. Was that a hit Oichi? Ochi. You cannot contain me.
chest and it moves everything that's at the base too. That is handy. at solo missions. He's not a joiner by nature, but he'll show up and lend his physical abilities when he need be. Nice. I knew it. I knew he was tough enough to make it. Dingo is a skilled ranger, even though he doesn't use a rescue pup. He specializes in solo missions, you see. One thing's for certain, a rescue mission should be a lot easier with his help. Track down our ranger dingo. The only rescue officers still out there now are the doctor and the pilot. The doctor and the pilot. Somehow I feel like those might be some of the last few we get. How do I see? Nice, 100%. Back to the surface we go. <laughs> Pop drive one. Damn, we got a lot of uh sparklium. They might have requests for you. you can fulfill for them in exchange for various rewards. Oh, that's what the side missions are. Things to do. <laughs> sure. Ba -da -da -dum 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 -dum. I've done a lot. Tablet menu. Missions. Side missions. Acquire gear and learn all the Ochi stuff. Dispend. Onion. SOS, SOS, please handle me with care. Jump. 
Fuck! <laughs> I can't do any shit, I didn't bring any Pikmin. What the fuck is that? I feel like I can't get up there without... Ochi. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. There's one ice pigment like right up against me. That's like the- I'm guessing that's the one that's ready to be thrown? I'm surprised this spot where they are with the, the ship is safe in the middle of the night. Why don't they get swarmed by monsters? Yeah, we don't get to see the items we use in the ship. Probably because I got so many items in that one day. <laughs> If the next goal is 3,000, I'm really close to that. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> We've detected multiple SOS signals. I hope this gets us closer to finding the, our missing officers and Captain Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> Make a record of the area right away, Colin. Great adventure series, oh ho! What is that star-shaped metal? Rusting it with the appraisal AI, now you'll be able to see when you've collected all the treasure in a series. Double dragon eyed scope. <laughs> Key? There's a reasonable way. Uh, reasonable in the wave patterns for treasures of the same type that lets us extract even more sparkulium. Can't say that I get the science behind it, but it sounds like we should try to collect a complete series. Dusty Bed, Daughter of the Earth, SS Chocolate, <laughs> Cookie of Nibbled Circles, The Perforated Raft, Creatures, Illumination Glue, Deceptive Snack. Aspiration Ritual Ball Unlimited Locomotive Detective 
Joseph's Truth Seeker, Stately Rubber Cutie, Personal Injury Plank, <laughs> Memory Fragment, Top Right Edition, Sunseed Berry, Aspiration Ritual Poem, Orb Orb of Destruction, <laughs> Empty Face, Mama Doll Head. Oh yeah. Well, Captain, we did it. We finally found our Ranger Dingo. Can't believe I had to be saved by the newbie. The newbie. I'm losing my edge. We're just glad to see you made it back. Safe and sound, Dingo. Are you hurt at all? Oh, uh, not at all, Captain. I'm just, uh, touched that you care. This table does not seem to be structurally sound. It's missing screw. But science guy could stand to worry a little. <laughs> stand to worry a little more. Uh, that reminds me, Captain. I have some informa information regarding our pilot. Do you know his whereabouts? Great work, Dingo. What? Uh, no. That's not exactly. So exhausted from all that forced sleep you had. <laughs> we'll go over the details tomorrow and get some go get some rest. Huh? Oh, uh, you got it. She cares about my physical state, that means she cares. <laughs> oh, before you hit the hay, please be sure to review all the details related to our mission. Rescue mission. So you're fully prepared. Is that really necessary? <laughs> I wonder where Louis is. Louis probably just doesn't exist anymore. Even though no. Olimar came on like his solo ship, his SS Dolphin. Is it true that you encountered our pilot while stranded? Ooh. Well, uh, yeah, I ran into Bernan Bernard at some point, but then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. What? Leaf what? The yeah, the leaf creature pick up some... pick up someone else and toss them in onto a big pup. Bernard and I tried to follow, but... Ooh. We were too late. They dragged the cast away into a cave, and suddenly they were growing leaves too. What the fuck? Sounds familiar. <laughs> really? <Buzz hits. laughs> you think... <laughs> you think I'd lie about this? <laughs> Who is this character anyway? Other <laughs> than the leaf creatures in charge spotted us, we got out of there as fast as we could. Or at least, that's what I thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out, or maybe he got turned into a leafling, too. Huh? A leafling? Oh, that's what me and Bernard started calling him. It's much faster to say leafling than leaf creature. Catchy, isn't it? Oh, what? What or who are these leaflings? But first things first, we find and rescue our pilot officers to your stations, please. <laughs> Copy that. I'd like to train. Everything you had into that training, what a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Tomorrow. Now I remember, no slacking. No doubt that the gear and items I've created will be pivotal to your explorations. I guarantee it. Oh. Whoa! What the fuck? 
Made from premium fireproof fabric, it will protect you from any inferno, plus it's moisture wicking. Damn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I want all of them. Oh, snap, Ice Blast. Oh, you have to click on them to clean? Hi. Hi. Talk super. Its bitter flavor paralyzed them from head to toe. There are plenty of pickwick carrots in the pantry, but some of them, some are duds and way too bitter to be considered edible. By us, anyway. But the more you feed through the creatures, the longer they'll stay out of your way. Damn. That's interesting. <laughs> Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Shooting. Schnauz would like to speak to you. Thank you for rescuing me the other day. I confess I'm really quite flustered. I'm really quite flustered. You only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm Schnauz. I'm a noted appraiser of treasure. I often compile my findings in a little log for prosperity's sake. Mm. Side mission collect 50 treasures. Nice! <laughs> Observe. This way we can look at the Game Boy Advanced SP Blue Edition. There's probably going to be a bunch of like <laughs> Nintendo consoles here. But... Notice how resplendent the blue of the slab is. It's called cobalt blue. The pigment is extracted from an ore renowned for honing one's intuition. 
Intelligence and reflexes. Yes, the more I gaze upon it, the more advanced I feel myself become. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> Considering there's like a little selector there at the bottom for schnoz. Schnozer. I wonder if um, you can get the thoughts on of the treasure from other captains. Or characters. Does that carrot look like a Pikmin to you? <laughs> In a flower shop. Bloom a bunch of Pikmin flowers. <gasps> Good damn, okay. Drink. If you insist. Investigate one area, 100%. Okay. Oh, you need 4,000 for the next uh, location. Go back to the previous area of Ochi. Wonder what's back here. I wonder if there'll be anything back here. One more day for <laughs> today. Oh fuck, I think I picked the wrong zone. Did I? Fuck. I did. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'm exploring the new area. 
things Ochi can't do. Unfortunately, Ochi can't climb up walls or climbing rope. Got, got them. What the fuck are those? Those boring snackerets look a little weird. Yellow and ice? I mean, the reds would be good for combat, but so would the ice ones. Here comes Ochi with the remaining Pikmin. They don't actually kill. They just stun them. The Pikmin gets stunned instead of eight straight up killed. Oh, my God. 
don't you? See you later, cute bird. <laughs> no problem, Pebbles. Thank you for joining me for the stream. Have a good EP. Gonna be a problem, do you? <laughs> Fused, and now there's just one with two colors. Yellow. 
I wonder what that is up there. The green one. Look up there. It's a treasure over here. Probably not the uh, the ice one. Mouth-like gills and are notably able to function even underwater. Thanks to their water resistant and swimming talents, they can now transport things found in the water. Aww. Search the water for early. I'm counting on you, Rustlin. Oh, Oh, 
Oh wait, that could be pulled out from up there? What? I thought I had to jump up this side to pull it out. Oh, what? How do I dispend? That's the uh, castaway over here.
I wonder if I could freeze that. to be an animal enthusiast. He must have seen the voyage log and came here looking for new species. Luckily we found him before he got, well, eaten. How many civilians decided it'd be a good idea to <laughs> go tra traipsing off this off of this planet? Did they think this was a, some kind of hot new tourist destination or something? All the Mars SOS really do be bringing in some interesting people. Causes the uh, Pikmin to turn much faster. Which is pretty good. Calling the Pikmin caused them to bloom faster. I mean. The, <laughs> the Pikmin that aren't mine are like immortal. So I should have known better. That is a big egg. Thank <laughs> you. 
are full from the sky. I wonder if you could ever tell the captain, your captain, your character, to go round up <laughs> missing Pikmin. Let's see. 75%? Damn! Still need to get stuff done. Seventy-five percent progress, my friend. Three more treasures, three more treasures to go. I think. <laughs> there must be a castaway nearby. That looks like a boss arena. <laughs> Considering how there's like a one way route down here, 100% a possible. Yeah. 
is a very cheat to distract. Then Ochi get grabbed was okay. <laughs> Francois from home planet Uji. Damn, I cannot believe we really do have a lot of different places. Research task force recruit. For years, a scholar has been working to achieve his lifelong dream, reaching mutual understanding with plant life. Are? The research task force? I had no idea there were, were <laughs> researchers stranded here too. Good dim. <laughs> we now have blue Pikmin on our side. Ah, oh, yeah. Two green haired fellowed fellows. Pop drive plus two. Investigation comes. Good. Now I can have more Pikmin with me. Pikalopedia. Whenever you encounter a new creature for the first time, it will be registered in the Pikalopedia. Yes. Away. And next to them, could that be the leaflings that attacked the dingo? Mm, that's a weird, that's a funky looking one. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that could be Bern Bernard on the ground next to them. <gasps> Ooh, 
whoever is, we can't let them get turned into a leafling. Follow them. Service will be called off. Sure. Huh? Oh, what's going on here? The Pikmin aren't following for some reason. Yes, you two are on your own. Good luck, Russell. You two, Ochi. I guess we can figure that out later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. Mm. I see them over there. Oh, okay. <gasps> they did that thing that they did in the end of Pikmin 1 if you fail. Those who do not embrace Tendori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaf leaves, they will thrive. You, skin having one, do you believe you do have... Do you believe you do not need the leaves? They will test your abilities to see if that is true. I invite you to face me in Dendori battle. I have provided the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Find objects and transport them back to your base. Fill the time limit. To win, collect the highest total combined weight. If you wish to retrieve your castaway, prove that your Dendori abilities are superior to mine. Now the Dendori battle begins. Oh shit! Thank <laughs> you. 
Suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. Oh. Transport them back to the SS Beagle right away. Now. Finishes. Just can't get over the fact that they have leaves growing out of their head and their face is all, well, bushy. Let's check the ID info. Error, home planet, PNF404, unable to read data. <laughs> no! What's this? Unable to read data? They should have biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are we supposed to find out who this is? 
drafty gallery. Beneath the passage, all I can see is an interminable darkness. I tossed a pebble into the abyss, but never heard it hit the ground. I must proceed with caution here. I don't want any pigmen accidentally thrown to their demise, let alone sh shaken off by some creature. Oh, that's toxic. You can't enter if it's night time. Ooh, is that like an ice barricade? That's interesting. What the fuck is that? I really want to continue this, but I should probably be slumbering now. I want to slumber soon so I can get up and do <laughs> all of this pickum and stuff. Harmon. Nice. I feel like I'm getting at least three of these people at a time, which is pretty good. They have leaves growing out of their head so hard. <laughs> no? There's poisonous oxygen in this planet's atmosphere. We shouldn't be able to survive without the helmet. Something very strange is going on here. Hmm. Yeah. Enough to get to the next zone, too. Crazy. <laughs> Should we discuss the castaway with leaves growing out of their head? This has to be what Dingo was talking about when he told us about the leaflings. That's right, this, that castaway could be our pilot. It would be easier to know for sure if not for all the leaves. I can't make out any features of Bernard at all. Maybe we'll get all, some more information after the examined by our doctor. Maybe but first we need to find him. Until then, we'll let this castaway get some rest. <laughs> and they need to hope that the bloody... <laughs> the doctor isn't turned into one of these leaf pigmen captains as well. <laughs> Leafling people. Yeah, there they are. They've got a glowing leaf on their head. Any updates on this castaway? What's their current condition? Never knew to report, they're still asleep and they haven't responded to any of our attempts to wake them up. The oddest thing is they don't seem to need a helmet to breathe, and we have no idea how that's possible. They need to be examined by a doctor ASAP. <laughs> to make that happen, we'll need to, you two to locate the remaining rescue officers and collect more treasure, understood? Good, I hereby call this morning's strategy session to a close. Officers, to your stations, please. <laughs> Oh snap, Olimar's ship. Rescue command post was getting a bit crowded, so we started clearing a new area. We came upon something odd. A spaceship in disrepair. Hmm, it's clear, clearly missing its captain. They're probably out there somewhere. In need of rescue, we'll do our best to, find, to help them. To 
find them. I almost forgot, we also found some raw materials while establishing a new area. Please put them to good use. Nice. Well, hey. Download the creature guy is asking for you. Neat. <laughs> Naturally, I'll prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn um, about more of these sweet feral muffins. Wow, you've done this much already. You're not to be underestimated, are you? So many cutie badooties. Stole the uh the enemies. Whoa. Whose spaceship is that? Ramon. <laughs> Francois. <laughs> Kindness. That's why I love plants. Make a boko. The Pikmin. We must propagate more Pikmin. Help me with this task for a token. My thanks. Grow the Pikmin population. 300. God damn. Hmm. I'm guessing these spaces will be cleared out. Yeah, like this dirt. Brick might be cleared out once there's uh, more space, right? I don't know. Who knows what they'll do? That means you'll get healthy faster. You'll be full pep in, again in no time. I don't know if to do rush or buff. <laughs> For now, I'll do rush. I'll save buff for when I have an odd number of, um, pop drive points, which isn't free. <laughs> right then. Spend all 
and down to gears and skills. Uh, I want to swap this band all with, with this one down here. There we go. Nice. That's handy. Alright. That's it for me. No more game. I'm gonna go take a f big slumber. Wait. Here we go. Fun game enough. Let's see. I'm very much definitely gonna pick this back up once I'm awake again. <laughs> so look forward to that if you wanna keep watching. So that might be in like <laughs> ten hours from now. <laughs> we'll see. Right. That is all. Thank you so much everyone for joining me for today's stream and cheers to everyone who is still watching as well. Much appreciated, I do say. Um I really want to get back into this, so back into playing this game. So I'm gonna <laughs> quickly call it here and go slumber. So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for today's stream. Cheers to those who still watching, and we shall see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye now. Yo. Yeah.